Um, yeah, I don't remember any uh, big, big stories like that, but... I must, I, I must have had a story, but I, I forgot. I can't remember any. Yeah. I remember a similar story where some of the boys were just freaking around. Um, outside of their hometown was this pretty big marsh. And uh, they were out in it one night, and they kind of got lost. So they were like, oh, fuck, what do we do? And he's like, all right, but step one, uh, start a fire. He's like, all right, well, we got to start a fire. We're in the middle of fucking winter. And he's like, well, I got my French homework here. So <laughs> they started a fire with Buddy's French homework. Of course, a French teacher, not very pleased about it, but, you know, fuck her. She was a bit of a bitch. <laughs> and uh, this was an extraneous circumstance. As you'll soon find out. You're not gonna get the triangle? I'm gonna get, oh, we can't spray it from here. Damn it. Um, <laughs> no, so they, they light themselves some fire and uh, basically get each other a few torches. Because you know, it's dark out and this is, you know, marsh. So you don't know what in the hell is gonna be out and about. Sure enough, they start hearing coyotes. And they're like getting all sketched out because they don't know where they are. They're cold. All they got is these fucking makeshift torches made out of French caille on fire. <laughs> and sure enough, they kind of come face to face with one. Oh, very good. And one of my friends says he swears he looked right at him. But then, of course, he dodged it on because it was just one coyote. Like, one coyote's really not going to bother you. No. But if you get a few of them together, uh, you're gone. That's a, that's a weird thing, too. When I would work uh, out west, and when we would be working, and we would see like foxes and like coyotes and stuff, like people don't think nothing of it. Oh yeah, it's I don't know. It's just like I always thought as like a coyote as like something that would attack you, and then you would end up getting rabies or like torn up and shit. But like people, like some people, people will feed them, and it's just like fuck, man. No wonder they're always around scrapping for shit because people keep on feeding them all the time. Mm. I've got another story when it comes to coyotes, actually. But, um, first of all, I'd like to preface that by saying, oh, shit. Fuck this level. Oh, shit. Mm. I wish you got that. <laughs> well. <laughs> Is this your first death? For the, the session, yeah. Oh, no, that's not too bad. No. Did you stand by, um... How many deaths did you do you think are you right now? Maybe like 40-something? Not sure. Mm. If you, if you were to guess at the beginning, how many would you have said? Or this doesn't really make sense now, does it? No, because <laughs> we're so far into it. Alright. Oh, so there's two coins there. Is... And I've got two minutes. Well, that's because it is, Nick. Get on the cow block. Alright, so up. I've got my strategy for these two. This is not so bad. Cow, cow, cow. The perspective sucks. Nah. Look at all the sunflowers. Oh god. I just realized I kinda gotta go quick. You got time. Fuck. Not a whole, whole lot. Cow, cow. Oh. Yay! You waste a whole minute. Congratulations. Jesus. Yeah, it does. Yay! Alright. Wow. This is... <laughs> you have to get six more coins. In less than a minute. Alright, here we go. Yeah. I might do it. You never know. No. Probably not, but... What is this? Oh, okay. I don't think she flips or anything, so... <sighs> I heard the shine. Wait a minute. Where are the six? I can't see! Change the camera! Oh, there's two. It's three. Wait, what? Go, go, go! I thought there was one under there. There's one right there, and there's one up there, and there's one right there. Oh, yeah, there is. Well, I'm not gonna get it, but I know where they all are now. Yay, seven! Close. If it wasn't fucking around. Oh. Well, 
But no, my other coyote story. Grabbage. Is my dad was just uh, chilling on our front porch one time. We got like a farmer's porch, uh, which is really cool. But he saw this dog come up through the driveway. He was like, "That's weird. It's a pretty big dog." He was like, "That's not a fucking dog. That's a goddamn coyote." So of course he immediately starts. Oh god, here we go. He starts flipping out. Well, not like outwardly, like holy shit, holy shit, but like internally, he's like, "Oh fuck, oh fuck." Because he's got the dog right next to him. Oh. So he's like, all right, I gotta make sure that uh, our dog, Marley, doesn't, like, try and take this thing on, because she's gonna lose. Let's be honest. Um, so he takes the mall that he's actually got sitting right next to him for what he uses for chopping wood, and he, like, starts to go after it, but of course it runs back down the driveway, and then Dad runs into this guy who's, like, pulled over with his camera out, trying to get a picture of it. No. But this was like in the middle of town, which was really uncommon. Mm. So, yeah, I, I remember seeing it's pretty a, sketchy. I remember seeing a moose like right next to the mall in Cornbrook one time. Oh yeah, we get moose <laughs> come through our yard all the time, actually. Oh yeah, same thing at home. But like, just in the middle of like a city, it's just like, what the fuck? Where the fuck you come from? Yeah, the woods. Well, yes, but like, how the fuck did you get it this far? It was like when we walked. When we seen a seal. Uh, just like come up onto the beach like in the middle of June when like all the ice caps and shit was already gone he just yeah. rolled up I've seen that too just bawling at us I've run into like a lot of animals over the years it's pretty cool to be honest I can remember going to work and like getting on the four wheeler and then a moose was just right there okay and like I wouldn't even notice it until I sat on the bike, and I was just like, "Oh!" And he's just looking at me, eating some grass, and I'm like, "Jesus!" Yeah, you want to make sure that they stay that way. It's a good thing they're not. Like some are fucking saucy. Some will come right up to you. Like I remember, yeah. I was going doors one time, and I was going through the basement door, and he was always across. When I opened up the door, he start coming over. I was like, "What the fuck?" Stay where you too, bud. And, and then like I shut the door. And he was like right up in the window, like, hello, which is like, hi, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, well, if it's like rutting season or whatever, you <laughs> want to stay the far away from moose as you can. You gotta be. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Why'd you do that? I don't know! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Timing wrong. Oh. You got a side jump. Do a backflip. I mean, that might do it actually. <laughs> oh man, double feature. Hit that ball. Bang. Here we go. You can do this. You can do this. I mean, I can definitely do it. You it's not it. as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, you can't do this. You can't do this. Fuck you. Just gonna lose. Maybe. Like he does Mario Party. Fuck you. <laughs> I still get that one win on camera. Hey, don't say that. Oh shit. Is it it yet? I did. It mm, probably is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll say yes. I'll put up the, the third board for October. Fuck, man. I had internet gone all weekend long. Ugh. Really? Yes. I only got it back this morning. Jesus. Ugh. Catching up on my YouTube shit. <laughs> yeah. That's absolutely a thing I do too. Is catch up on like YouTube videos and shit. Or like the weekend. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, the recent um, Runaway Guys, like Mario Party, is the most like competitive it's been in a long time. I'll say that right now. That's good. Mm. Uh. What else do we have on here? Say another number. <laughs> uh, four. Four. Longest amount of time playing a game. So in one session. That would probably be the first session I had of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Oh, really? How long? Well, maybe not the first session, but that one of them. Hmm. Five hours. Five hours? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I remember. I, was going to. I remember I played when Breath of the Wild came out. I played a long time in one session at that because I remember 
I played it when I first got my Switch, and I think the battery lasted for, I think, three and a half hours or four hours. And I think that was the only time when, like, the, my battery actually went dead that I wanted to play more. So then I put it back in the system, and then I just played it on the TV for, like, another hour or two. So, like, five and a half hours, I would say. Yeah. Oh, damn it, every it's time. Such, such a good fucking game. I say you could probably get it on your computer. You just download the CMU. Yeah. Or, you know, just get a Switch. Yeah. The, I definitely want one. The, well, there's going to be Switch. There's already Switch emulators, like, on the go. So are you going to try that? <laughs> I mean, I think I'm actually going to get a Switch, though. Mm. So. Sweet. Like, I would prefer an actual Switch. And my GSC came through the other day, so... Nice! Mine too. Fucking love that shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, I'm actually curious as to oh, something. Explosion. You definitely got this. This is probably the third time you've done this. I'm seeing Papai, Yoshi, Papai, right? Papai, Papai, baby. And I'm wondering... If I bring this to Yoshi... Fruity loops. Oh, no! Fuck. Well, oh, well, that's gone. Dead. Ogopoko. Whoa. The He's bomb, dead. like, went out of your hand and then back into your hand. Uh, I'll have to double check that. Pop. I thought if I was Yoshi, I could just, like, spray the mole guy and be done with it. We got this. This juice burns my skin! We're gonna have to come back to that and, uh, do it again. Melt my skin off. Oh, Yay! No. Bing, 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 bing! Oh, well, you got this. It makes it super easy. Yeah. You only given a minute? Okay, die. I'm dead. Yeah, that was your garbage. <laughs> Need to plan it better. <sighs> it's not that bad. No. I think we're making good progress this session. No! This is gonna be a quicker one. Because I get shit to do. We gotta, we gotta go and do our jury duty. Basically. Yeah. Uh oh. I got caught so yeah, for still... smoking weed on October 16th. <laughs> yeah, we put out that uh, one video where you were smoking illegal weed before it was legal. <laughs> it's just a video of me on the channel just smoking a joint. <laughs> RCMP comments this on the video. It's like, please come to Stay the station. Stay where you are. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, come to the station now! Oh, this is an easy bonus. Mm. Just not much time. Well, that's what makes it not so easy. I only had six sections. Six um, sections? Yeah. You could have done it. C-sections. It's a Yoshi egg, but it's cube. You get a cube Yosh. Massive Yosh. Yosh cube? And then he eats ya. He's a Yoshi boar. Well, that's all he does. He doesn't eat you. Well, I mean, unless you're in the boar. <laughs> yes. I don't. Kink, kink shame on this channel. Get us demonetized. Okay, okay, okay. I just. That's just one of those things I want to understand more about. It's just like, why. Why is that such a fetish? Like, don't know. Is it like dying? Like, do you want to die? Or what? Do you want to. I. I Look. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we're going across the same. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I can't get up this thing either. So. I mean, like, I guess it'd be kind of explaining why, like, like boobs are hot. And then uh, you get down to like the science of like big sags and fat. That's true. Hey, you got six now. You didn't have six before. Yeah, I did. Oh, you did. I died midair, and then I got molested. <laughs> <laughs> Find a little munchkin, dude. Yeah, God I don't want to talk about it. It was a real bad time. I, that's pretty bad to be molested by a guy that has no arms. He's got a big nose, man. <laughs> He's got a big nose. Oh shit! Having the 
Hover nozzle does make this thing infinitely easier. But still difficult. Fuck. Game over. Yay. You're a lot careless now. It's not so much that I'm careless, it's just the fact that Garbage. I only have so much time. And keep in mind, I've never done any of these levels before, either. I think so. this game without even dying. Whoa. You get all 120 shine. Don't even die once. I'm actually the world record speedrunner. Andrew V. G. Whatever my name is. I thought your name was Nick. Nope. I'm the world famous speedrunner for this game. I beat it in less than, half, less than three hours. Oh no. Nobody can beat me. Alright, we gotta get this thing up and going quick. This is your worst enemy right now. Basically. That and the time. Because it just takes too long to readjust every time. Do the fucking side flip. It's hard to do. You're hard to do. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> Holy shit! Point <laughs> zero eight. I mean, not my record, but again, I think that's worth it this time. Ah! <laughs> that hurt my elbow. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> oh, it sounded so wet. <laughs> so wet. It's like the wettest cracking of a joint I've had. Of a joint? Holy shit! What did Ow! I do with my hand. Well, that's it for game boys. I'm you never gonna do be that in... level. What level? The one that you'd never ever did. No, we gotta do the other thing now. What we gotta do? To play the other game you're playing. Okay, then I'll play the other game I'm playing. <laughs> Everybody, we'll see you next year when we play Pinocchio Saves the Planet. I'm gonna drown. Okay. This will count to your deaths. No. <laughs>